Welcome to the Truth and Company Boxing Podcast. I'm your host, John the Truth Deoria. And tonight we have another segment of 20 random questions. And your guest tonight is none other than Jerry Belmontes. How you doing, Jerry? I mean, I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm wonderful, man. I appreciate you taking time and uh, come on the show. And are uh, you ready for your 20 random questions? No, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, now the first one, honestly, this is curiosity for me. So right. if you don't want to answer it, that's fine. I totally understand, but I'm kind of curious as a fan. So this was why I wanted to ask this question first. Tell me why you haven't been in the ring in almost seven years, and now you have a fight coming up. So what it was um, all through my boxing career when I had my kids, it was work, training, track, and then you get to see my kids sometimes. So I would get home, go home. I would leave home at 6.30 in the morning, and I would get home like at 9.30 at night. And usually my kids will be asleep or my kids will be awake at sometimes. So it was hard for me to see him and spend time with him. So that's why. And I started, like, not really – putting everything into my boxing training. So I was just, just me and my wife talk, my manager. And um, yeah, we decided to retire. And then now coming back, because my youngest son, he tells me that all these people that he know, he knows, um, they know who I am. And he wants to see me box because he doesn't remember how I used to fight and stuff like that. So that's why I'm back to it. And I've always missed it anyways. Okay. So, yeah, I was just curious because I'm like, you know, I looked at it and I'm like, wow, he just like disappeared off the map for like seven yeah. years and now he's got a fight. I was, yeah. And, you know, it, it could have been anything. And that's why I wanted to ask. Some people might have not wanted to discuss it. And I thought, man, I'm just curious why seven-year layoff is a long time and then you get back. I mean, some guys retire – you know, for injuries or, or other reasons. And then after a few years, they try to come back. But I was just like, well, wow, there's got to be more to this because otherwise he would have just stayed retired. So, but no, thanks for clearing that up. And, and now the fans have heard it too. So I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. All right. Question number two. Do you have any hobbies outside of the sport of box? Just being with my kids. That's, that's my hobby. Love to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I get it. I get it. Question number three. If you could be any superhero, who would it be and why? The Flash, because he's super fast. And that's <laughs> how I see myself. In, that's how I see myself in the ring. I see myself as a really fast fighter. Yeah, head Flash, and hand speed. Flash would be a good boxer. <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Until he got caught. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. All right. Question number four. What type of music do you enjoy listening to? I listen to a lot of Texas rap and country and okay. Spanish. Now you got to clarify for that me because I've never heard that. What is Texas rap? Uh, like Bun B, uh, UGK, uh, Slim Thug, Zero. Just anybody from Houston. Okay. So Houston, it's, Texas. it's not a type of rap. It's just no, it's not a type from of rap, the no. area. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay. Um, question number five, what's the first thing you bought with your first big contract? Um, my, I bought my mom a, a new stove. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I bet you my she first... appreciated that. Oh man. She loved it. <laughs> she loved it. All right. Um, Question number six. If you could go on any reality TV show, which one would it be? Man, I really don't know too many. Um, the Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're single right now because if you're nah, not, I'm you're going to be after this show. Nah, I'm not. <laughs> My girlfriend knows I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Question number seven, why should boxing fans come out and watch you fight? 
because I'm one of the best. I've always been a top level fighter from the amateurs into the pros. And I've, uh, I've always had a great style for boxers, boxing fans. Okay. Question number eight. If you wrote a book on your life, what would the title be? Mi Vida Loca. I don't know what that means. <laughs> My crazy life. I knew it had, I knew crazy was in there somewhere, but I didn't know, I didn't want to try to say it and be wrong. <laughs> yeah. All right. Question number nine. If you could go on a date with any celebrity, who would it be? Oh, Laura London. I'm not familiar with who that is. Who is that? Uh, she was with uh, Nipsey Hussle. Okay. Uh, she was in that movie, uh, ATL. All right. Uh, let's see. Question number 10. If they made a movie about your life, what actor would play you? <laughs> uh, man, I don't know. That's a good question. I would say Denzel. <laughs> Denzel? Denzel Washington. He's a great actor. Yeah, but you guys aren't even the same race. We're kind of the same color. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really dark. Okay. All right. I guess it's hypothetical, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. Um, question number 11. Can you sing, dance, or play an instrument? Oh, none of them. None. <laughs> Across yeah. the board, he said none. Well, you know what? I could, I could dance. I could dance uh, the, Hano, the Hano music. Okay. Yeah, so I guess I'll say dance. All right. Question number 12. If you could have dinner with any four people in the world, dead or alive, celebrities, people in history, anybody, who would the four be? Uh, I'm ground. Oh, you broke. I lost you. Oh, sorry about that. No, that's all right. Go ahead. Start over on that one. I would say my grandma, my grandpa. From um, and then I will say Floyd Mayweather, and then I will say, man, who would be my fourth? Lomachenko. So you got Mayweather and Lomachenko at the same table, and then you got your grandparents. That's going to be an interesting night. Yes, it would be. <laughs> be a lot of talking. For there, sure. might be, there might be a fight. It could be Lomachenko <laughs> versus Mayweather. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> that'd be a, yeah. That would be a that would be a memory to remember if that happened. Oh, for sure, for, for sure. All right. Um, question number thirteen. If you could do, if you could do a celebrity boxing match against any actor, who would it be? Does it have to be an actor? No, athlete, actor, celebrity. Jake Paul. <laughs> oh, man. I, oh, I suppose they consider him a celebrity. I guess he counts. Don't yeah. Me, yeah, don't get me started on him, man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, the he... I'm the president of the Jake Paul Hater Club, man. Oh, are you? Oh, I can't stand Jake Paul. Man, he, he's, he just has a big name and – for some reason, in boxing, and he's a decent boxer, so I think that's why I would want to fight him. I would hopefully that you wouldn't lose to him. Nah, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number 14. What is the craziest or the funniest story that ever happened between you and a boxing fan? Me and a boxing fan, craziest story. Funny or crazy. Man, that's a good question. I wouldn't say it's a crazy. I would just say it's crazy for me because I remember I had a fight with Abner Cotto and a fan from Houston, which is uh, three hours away from here. Um, he called, he texted me, he's like, hey, I want to, can I, I wonder if I could get an autograph. I'm a big fan of yours. And I was like, all right, cool. Uh, meet me at the, at the arena at this time and it was like hours before I fought and he he was there and I showed up 
took pictures with him and his friends and signed with autograph. And he was like, left. And he, he texted me. He was like, man, I honestly didn't think that messaged me. He was like, I honestly didn't think you're going to show up because like you don't even know me or anything like that. So I'm like, you may be even like more of a fan. So wait a minute. He drove three hours just to get pictures and autographs to the and stadium, well, but he didn't even get to go in to see the fight. Well, he saw the fight because um, it was oh. like hours before. He he just I just told him be there at this time, and he showed up at that time. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, man, if he didn't even get to see the fight, boy, that's dedication there. Yeah, it, that would be dedication. But I mean, this guy was a big fan of mine, and um, I guess after that. It was even a huge fan. Wow, that's pretty nice, man. Yeah. That's nice that you got fans like that. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, question number 15. If you could have been a professional in any other sport other than boxing, what would it have been? Baseball. Okay. Love baseball. Question 16. What's the best advice you ever got from another boxer, and who was it? Uh, BJ Flores. Uh, he told me when I'm training to never take it easy when, I, when I'm when i training and never take it easy on the people who I spar against because they're going to start – if they put in – if I if I take it easy on them and they like sort of like – Put in a good sparring with me, they're gonna just talk about that the whole entire time. So just go out there and finish them or beat them up, do what you gotta do, but don't ever take it easy on anybody. Okay. Question 17 Who was your favorite cartoon character or animated character growing up? Um it was a show called Dragon Ball Z, and it was a guy named Vegeta. Okay. Yeah. Question 18. If you could star in a movie with any actor, who would it be? Uh, Denzel, because he's I such knew. a great actor. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. I was about to say you can't say Denzel twice, but I didn't want to say Oh, it. yeah. I knew you were going to say it. Yeah, it, I mean, Denzel, I'm, I'm a big fan of Denzel. I like all his movies. Like, every movie okay. he's made, I, I watch. All right. You know who I was thinking, though, who could probably star as you in your life story, though? Uh, I probably can't say his last name right. Uh, John Lamazato? Is that how you say his name? Oh, yeah. No, I don't, I don't know how to say it either. So. But, you, but you know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um question 19. Who's your favorite all-time boxer? Floyd Mayweather. Okay. My favorite. So now number 20, we're at the last question. And for all the fans, I don't want anybody to get excited when I ask this. It's hypothetical how he answers it either way. Would you rather spend the evening smoking weed with Mike Tyson or drinking wine with Kevin Hart and why smoking weed with Mike Tyson. Okay. And why just, I can, just I can get all his stories from his uh, childhood up until up until now. Okay. And I'm sure he has a lot of stories. So I don't know. I get a little worried getting high with Mike Tyson though. Cause you never know what that dude's going to do by the end of the night. I mean, I'll be I'll be a distance from him, but I'm gonna be talking to him. <laughs> All right. Well, look, man. I appreciate you taking time to come on uh, Truth and Company, man, and being honest with your answers and open for the fans. And uh, it's been a great time, man. You want to say anything to your fans before we close? Man, first of all, I appreciate you for having me on. I really appreciate that. And um, my fans, June 10th is only the beginning. Coming back. All right, good to hear you heard him. He's back in the ring June 10th, a long awaited, almost seven years out of the ring. And yes, it was sir. all for, and it was all for family. Family's always oh. gotta be first. Always first. So everybody buy tickets down in the area wherever he's fighting, man, and put that money in and come support him. Yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, well, you have a good night, and the truth has spoken. <laughs>